Good morning. Welcome to Cisco Virtual's Kitchen Holiday Meal Kits. Oh, I am so excited today to bring to you some amazing ideas from one of our amazing teams, our business resource teams here at Cisco from Southern Ontario. We're going to be talking today really around showing ideas for the holidays around meal kits, but I'm going to pass it over to today's host, Alejandro. Welcome to the show and it's all yours, buddy. Thank you very much, Jay, for uh, giving us this opportunity to showcase our first regional Cisco virtual kitchen show. And today we have a foodie holiday showcase. We got two chefs that are going to be going face to face, or I should say more back to back, <laughs> because we want to make sure that uh, we're maintaining our social distancing in these days. Definitely the holidays are going to be different this year. As for Sarah Terrace, by now would be crazy bookings for Christmas parties, caterings, and the reality is that we're, we're definitely living a different time. So now is the time for everybody to get creative, go out there and find some new ways of revenue. So the ideas that we're going to be presenting today is we want to share how normally this channel as restaurateur is the last thing we look into because we we're so busy right with the day to day that we never think about you know holiday meals or ready to eat uh, caterings or anything like that in the holidays so today we have brought a great ideas we got two chefs uh, that i will be introducing really quick so what are the benefits of this number one everything is pre-ordered having to cater ready to eat meals or meal kits in the holidays doesn't mean long hours doesn't mean product going to waste doesn't mean anything like that it means you pre-organize everything is pre-order and you only produce what you've already said so it's cash in your pocket before you even sell anything so i don't want to keep you waiting because i can already smell the kitchen smells like holidays already and i'm gonna go and introduce the chefs let me just first uh safety i'm gonna Put my face covering. I'm going to switch this into the kitchen camera today. And we are ready to go for some fun out there into the kitchen. So please follow me. And I'm going to introduce first chef number one, participant number one, Chef Kyle Brandt representing Cisco Southwestern Ontario with over 25 years of experience in a wide range of settings. Originally from Stratford, Ontario, waiting. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to go over there. So Kyle, you're in today representing Southwest. What are you gonna be showing us today? Please introduce yourself and let us know about your menu a little bit more. Awesome, thanks Alejandro. Today I'm gonna be discussing uh, the importance of uh, home meal replacement, uh, replacement kits. Holiday season's hot on our heels right now, and really this year I think it's going to be a great source of extra revenue for some restaurants to have this kind of kit together that families can cook that food at home, enjoy each other's company, and I'm also going to showcase other ways that they can have it set up as well. Fantastic. You want to tell us a little bit about your menu today? Just, just a little tease so we know exactly what you're going to be working. And just to let everyone know... This is going to be live cooking. So you're, as we go back and forth from one side to the kitchen to the other one, you are going to be preparing this, this food, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm going to start off with a couple of appetizers, a couple of my favorites that I remember as being a kid. I'm going to do uh, some bacon wrapped uh, items. I'm going to do a meatball dish. Move into the more traditional main courses where I'm going to do a turkey dinner and a roast beef. And then I'll have a nice little surprise dessert there will be a ginger cake. Fantastic. Well, hands on. I'm going to let you start whipping up some fantastic. And yes, Jerry, we're going to be going to the other side of the kitchen. Chef number two representing Toronto, Chef David Piper. He is known as for his great plate presentations. He's done a lot of uh, food photography. He's worked in fine dining for many years. So Dave, introduce yourself and let us know a little bit about yourself and what you're going to be preparing today. Hey guys, my name is Dave Piper. Like Alejandro said, I'm representing Toronto today and we're going to do uh, some delivery of food that is pre-done, pre-plated and ready to go, ready to eat. So today I'm going to be doing uh, a beautiful seasonal soup. 
uh, some crab cakes, a couple of awesome uh, ultra seasonal proteins, something a little different than the roast beef, something a little different than the turkey. And then we're going to get into a couple of really nice desserts. So why did you keep actually doing a meal kit? Because just, just a little bit of a background. The chefs got to pick whether they wanted to do ready-to-eat meals or they wanted to do meal kits. Now, you pick meal kits. How come? What, uh, what uh, put you in that to take that decision? Well, you could sit in the, uh, your kitchen and, and piece a bunch of things together, or you can get it delivered and have it beautiful done by a chef. And I think that gives you enough time to mix up a drink and uh, kick your feet up. So I think that's why I chose it. That seems like a better way of going to me. Perfect. Thank you very much, Dave. Okay, so Hanson, you want to tell us about your menu? Yeah, like I said, we did the. Uh, we're going to do the. Uh, we're going to do a couple of seasonal proteins. We're going to start off with a soup. We're going to do a butternut squash soup. We're also going to do a crab cake, which can do we can do a full size or a smaller a smaller app size, uh, and then a couple of desserts. So I'm going to go in the pile now and see what this Please, by all means, start off because time is Yeah, we're going to get going. I've got some uh, white cotton mushrooms. I've got some sliced bacon. I used to love making these with my family. You sit around the dinner table, free dinner. Just making all the appetizers together, you know, spending that quality family time really brings back memories. It's something I still do to this day, um, and it's it's just such a simple, easy one. And I mean, you don't have to have fresh mushrooms. Canned mushrooms work actually it's just the same. But basically, I just wrap the mushroom around the bacon until it's a little bit overlapped. Take my knife, cut that piece off, wrap a spear through it, and place it on my tray. Keep going through those. I usually get about probably three, three, three items per order for precisely bacon meat. I mean, super, super simple things to be doing. Also, think about this in the restaurants. You can pre-make these you know, a few days ahead, flash freeze them if you wish, bring them up the day of, cook them off, and have them ready to go. They're pretty quick, quick cookers. So I have water chestnuts here that I'm going to do as well. I mean, Scallops are a great option. Uh, chestnuts this time of year are coming around, so those are a great option as well. So again, just steer it through. Hey, Al. Just like so. Yes, go so, ahead. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, Al, uh, I think yeah. Chef's mic is off. So can you just nice get his mic tray. on again? Have a nice full tray. Okay. So I think I think your mic is off. We're gonna we're gonna go into that. We're gonna go into into David Piper really quick. See what he's up to. And uh, we'll come back. We'll come back. So, uh, about, uh, so um, about uh, Sir Piper, yeah. what are you doing in here? Welcome back, Alejandro. Welcome We've back. got. Uh, I'm frying up some crab cakes. So I've got a little bit of oil in the pan. I've mixed some canola oil with a little bit of olive oil. Just cut it, and I'm getting a nice fry on my crab cakes. Uh, what's great about doing something like this is you can get a bunch of these fried up in advance, uh, and then fire them in the oven to heat them through. So this is a this is a great option um, for for any kitchen team. Look at that. Just getting a nice brown on it. And it's it, there's quite a bit of oil in the pan. And what we're doing, you can see if I tip my pan, it's a bit of a shallow fry we're looking to do. I want to get all the sides um, cooked and crisp. And we'll do it this way as well, just like that. Okay. And yeah, we're looking to do a really nice shallow fry, but we want to do it in a pan. We don't want to just, this is not something you just want to dump in the deep fryer. That's too harsh. It's, it, it's too heavy of a fry. Uh, and, and your crab cake may fall apart. So that's why we're just kind of cooking them gingerly here. We're taking our time, just a medium heat, and just letting it fry. Um, and like I said, we can we can get some of these done in batches. We can cool them, we can put them on trays, uh, and then we can just fire them as we need. As uh, our delivery drivers come, we can get them going and uh, off, off on their way. So this is a fantastic appetizer that way as well. I'm just, uh, just kind of brought it off heat. I've got a, uh, a really nice uh, butternut squash soup there and I've got some croutons that I'm just toasting through in the oven that I'm going to crumble uh, I'm going to crumble right on top of our soup I've got some creme fraiche off to the side so it's all it's all coming together pretty quick so that's that's good that's the idea as well it's having it all come together and with ease awesome I'm going to let you uh, keep at it I'm going to go and see if, uh, if Chef Kyle is ready for uh, his uh, broadcasting Chef Kyle so, 
Mushrooms so, right in the oven. Mushrooms right in the oven. Pull them out. Pull them out. Just a nice, like, just a nice, like, 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 I also have my uh, cranberry barbecue uh, meatballs happening here, and that's just equal parts of a cranberry salsa and a smoky barbecue sauce, and they're fully cooked uh, meatballs, really fast, right? You're gonna get that sauce up to temp, you're gonna chop your meatballs in there, and you're looking 20 minutes. It's gonna absorb all that flavor and that sauce, and then you have another really, really nice, easy kind of uh, appetizer for, the, uh, for that nice, you know, family around the table, maybe game day. Um, and it's super simple, right? You don't have, no one's making the mess with their hands with the meatballs. Quick, quick, quick. And I would usually just put those into a pan and bake them probably for about five minutes just to get the sauce out extra sticky. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot, Kyle. So you're, you're preparing these ready to eat? These can be done ready to eat, but you can also ship them out only the individuals, right? Okay, so the idea is you're going to be doing meal kits with meal this. Kits, yeah, so you're... that's kind of what they're going to get at home. But this is what can be shipped out, right? So okay. They so they got their meatballs, they got their barbecue sauce, they got their salsa. Give the instructions of just mix the two together, add the meatballs, 20 minutes in the oven. So it's really easy to make. Any anybody can do this. Everyone's gonna look like a superstar. And that's that's what you want to make sure when you're doing a meal kit, right? Absolutely. That it would be accessible for anyone to do it. Hundred percent. And they're all gonna come out looking like shining stars. You know, dust some flour on your face as well, make it look like you spent hours back there, but you really didn't. And so, what made you pick uh, pick uh, ready uh, meal kits? Meal kits for me, uh, super important right now. Uh, basically, I spend most of my Sundays prepping my entire meal, so I can just pop out of the freezer the day of, and I'm ready to go. I mean, uh, everyone's schedule is so busy right now. I feel like these kind of pre-made kits just cuts down a little bit of that prep time, but still you can complete all the dishes you saw at home. So when, when you're with your family, you enjoy that part of the conversation. You're, you're not the kind of people that want to sit down and watch the NFL and have a beer and let every, anyone else do the cooking. You want to be... Oh, yeah. Hands on. That kitchen renovation that took me two years now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to do my backsplash at home, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's sneak by and see what um, what Chef Piper is doing. Are you almost ready to? We're play? good to go. Yeah, good timing. We're we're good to go. Let me just pull my soup off here. So, like I said, we have a butternut squash soup here, and I did a few more crab cakes. So look at that. Nice, crispy, golden, and uh, ready to hit the plate. And let me just show you while you're here. That's how we started. Uh, you know, a nice packed crab cake, a lot of, a lot of crab in there. Um, and, and they're versatile. There's all sorts of ways you can do this. Um, so a great, great option that you can actually keep seasonal by adding some, some other ingredients. Let me show you what I mean. Um, I have a cranberry salsa here. And what I'd like to do is I have a roasted garlic aioli, so a roasted garlic mayonnaise, and we're gonna just start our plate just like that. Okay, we're gonna bring a little pop to that plate. Okay, and now that gives us a space to kind of line up our crab cakes. And I have a, a clean towel here. I'm just gonna dab off any extra oil that I might have. Okay, and let's start lining these guys up. Look at that. Okay, let's put three on, that fits pretty well. Okay. What we'll do is we'll take our cranberry salsa. And again, like that's what we're talking about, seasonal. Uh, and, and it's nice because this salsa that I'm using does have a little bit of a, a bite to it. It's not just sweet like a, like a cranberry sauce. I'm going to let some of it fall off the side here. Look at that. Okay. We'll dance a few, a few scallions here and there just to bring a little bit of interest to the plate and let's put a little more greenery, okay? Look at that, very easy, gets to the customer. And it, this is something, the reason this is fantastic, I think, this is not something people are generally gonna be doing at home themselves all the time anyway. This is a, a something, a, a special treat um, that we've kept seasonal, we've kept tasty. Um, and let me, let me show you something else while you're here, okay? Pop that up there. Let's do a soup. That looks so yummy. 
and anybody can put this together at home, right? Absolutely. That was Absolutely. easy. This is, easy. Easy. this is even soup easier. This is even easier. Soup is amazing. And, and the reason I like soup, um, I mean, it, it, it's, it's simplistic. Look at that. But it's so hearty, uh, so flavorful. So butternut squash soup. I have a little bit of creme fraiche here. You can use sour cream. You can use yogurt. Okay. Let's see what else we have. We have our, our croutons. See how they're doing. Yeah, and I'm going to crush these up a little bit. And what's good about having croutons in your soup? Uh, simple. It's, it's texture. It's added texture. Crumble some of them up. Leave some of them whole. I used olive oil and I used some, uh, some sourdough bread to, to create these. Um, and I think they look great. Just on top like that. Again, I'm a big fan of little greenery here and there. That, you know what, while we're here. Let's hit it with a little bit of olive oil and one more. Let's keep it ultra, ultra Canadiana. Look at that, maple syrup. That's all. That's all. Wow, and very seasonal. Man, what day is the day that you actually host family? I mean, I'll go the day after for the leftovers, man. This looks fantastic, guys. Seasonal butternut squash soup, creme fresh, maple fruit, and we got cutties. Crab cakes. Crab cakes. Wow. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. Let's go and bug uh, Chef uh, Kyle on the other side. And uh, no, man. No, no, no. I don't know. You probably want to go and check what's happening over there. Because huh? it's it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. What are you doing? What are you what are you stealing in there? Oh wow. Are you gonna add it into your menu now? Oh last minute change for Chef Kyle. <laughs> that's a trick, that's a low punch, buddy. But it's we're open to anything today. Anything. Absolutely, absolutely. So moving into the more of the main courses, I've got some really nice, easy use products. Um, like just that rainbow veg, absolutely amazing. I've just put some salt, pepper, a little bit of herbs, and oiled it up a little bit. That can get a lid put on there. That can go out. Instructions how to roast that off at home. I mean, it's even in a really nice aluminum container right now that you can pop that right in the oven. And they come ready just like this. The mix comes just like that. All pre-cut, ready to go. And you don't need to be cutting them in smaller. Everything is going to cook at the same time. Yep, absolutely. It's a really, really nice product. And visually, it's really attractive. Yeah, I know. you got a lot of colors. It, it screams fall, winter. Uh, awesome. That's got to be a staple at my dinner table for the holiday seasons. But that, that, that veg mix is in there. And then, of course, i got to have my mush. It's not Your an attractive what? name, but it's just it's a mix of uh, like sweet potato and turnips and it's all that beautiful root vegetable kind of see here, kind of just done into a, a mash, basically. And really, really easy to reheat this again. Like this is, anybody can do this at home, have a portion, ready to go for customers, right? They get their tub. There's at least probably three servings in that little tub there. So again, you would put all these ready to go, ready to reheat instructions yep. on how to, how to reheat it and make the best out of it. Absolutely. And simple instructions too. Like I'm not going to send anything out that's going to be too complicated for somebody because the last thing I want to do is discourage anybody from cooking at home. But I mean, I've already popped some of that in the oven there. You can see uh, got a couple of different brands or, or styles of that roasted vegetable. Oh, the smell. Oh, the smell is just amazing, right? And that's what you're going to get at home as well. So I, I feel bad for everybody that's watching. They can't get the smell. <laughs> And we are going to get to try it afterwards. So Absolutely. <laughs> but there's the same mix, roasted off, right? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So, so again, for an operator, you're comfortable, have one meal kit like that, shipped out ready to go. You can have some roasted off for the, for the guests as well, and just make have the refurb instructions for home, right? So if they're not totally comfortable with you know, roasting everything themselves, you kind of offer two, uh, two different meal kits, and they'll both still come out looking like superstars, right? I mean, that is a simple, simple, quick, easy reheat for that. But again, you know, it's kind of like my root, my root veg, my mush. I've got the mashed potato. 
which is amazing. I love this product. And again, super easy to send out, right? So it's a dehydrated potato, but it's not like the stuff we remember. This is only potato pearls. And literally, it's that plus two cups of water. Cover it for 12 minutes, and you get this light, fluffy, free rice potato dish. Then you just add your butter, garlic, and a little bit of heavy cream to it. You will never have lumpy potatoes again. And you will literally have restaurant style potatoes in about 13 minutes. No, that can't be 13 minutes. Yep. I remember the days of washing, peeling, cooking, ricing, feeding, oh, mixing. Never and ending, right? I know. Usually uh, repealing some of the potatoes as well. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so Mother Nature, part. right? Yeah, I mean, super nice and easy as well. And like, I add the roasted garlic just to add a little extra flavor. You but can I mean, smell it from here. It's delicious, that garlic in there. Oh, yeah. Like a quick punch of herbs in there as well at home. You really turn that, you know, dry product. What's so it's almost nothing, nothing. I think he's looking for some water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I okay, keep I going. Tell us about the potatoes. So now, now you're 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 serving a chef quality holiday meal at home without breaking a sweat. Absolutely. So Absolutely. meal kits is the way to go. Hundred percent. And and don't be afraid of products like these. Like they're really really come around. Um, I served this to my family last Christmas. Nobody even knew the difference. No. And there's chefs in my family as well. So and they had they came back for seconds and thirds and didn't know. And so. they, they didn't know. Uh, okay, no, so. we got that on video. So <laughs> we're gonna roll it out over there and see if it's true. I'm just kidding, buddy. That's stick awesome. That, I'll stick with that. But I mean, again. So what? These are the sides. Obviously, these you're gonna be sides. you're gonna be serving this with something else. Yeah. So I got turkey and a roast beef, and we got a pan on here. The great thing with this, I mean, you can you can leave the turkey breast just as is, and I just again a little bit of salt and pepper, some fresh herbs, get a pan hot, and but you can open this up in the restaurant, stuff it, roll it up, tie it off to the customer as well. It's a quick sear in a pan, and then you pop it in the oven. Okay, and I've got one over here. I did yesterday. And I mean, there was. No trick to that at all. All I did, same thing I'm about to do with this one, you sear it all. Oh, wow. And pop it in the oven. But like I said, if you want to stuff these, by all means. Could have been a little bit hotter, but we'll work with that. Mike is not working. Wow, look at that. that. Now, that's a piece of turkey. Awesome. So you just sear this and then then yeah, you go and it, finish it in the oven. Flip it, pop it in the oven. I'll usually maybe about 25, 30 minutes into it, after because it'll get golden brown really quick. I'll just tent it with some foil just to help it from uh, browning too much. Then Excellent. just wait for the internal temperature to come to the right temp. Take it out. I mean, it's a nice, quick, simple slices. I mean, you guys will be looking like pros here. Like, look at that. Like, that's a nice. Oh, nice and turkey. juicy. Nice and juicy. We're still leaking out there a little bit. And it doesn't take that long to produce this product, right? So even like first time cooks, don't be afraid of the stuff. We can set you up with the right instructions. You'll come out looking like a superstar every single time. Okay, so while you plate these, I'm going to go and bog next door and see what's happening over there. Uh, make sure you, you plate a little bit of these and see how they will be finished yep. in the plate and, and some ideas. Absolutely. Awesome. Let's go into Chef Piper's Corner over here. All right, how's Kyle doing over there? So far, so good. So, okay, so you're back. I have a bunch of things happening here. Uh, but they're all relatively simple, okay? Uh, I'm searing again, like uh, we did the crab cakes earlier. Right now we're gonna do uh, a pork loin, a little bit of olive oil and canola oil, and we're just getting a nice brown on that. Over here, 
I've got some Brussels sprouts that done with some bacon, okay? I sauteed off some thick cut 10, 12 bacon uh, and I've added it to my Brussels sprouts and given them a good roast. And I think any type of root vegetable this time of year uh, is perfect. It's hearty, it travels well, and it, it's classic. So uh, I have the, the bacon with the, the Brussels sprouts here. I have some butternut squash on the other side. Uh, and I had to, uh, I had to pick up the pace a little bit because, uh, I guess Kyle came around the corner and took some of my, uh, my potatoes, but lucky for me, you know, chef's always think ahead. So, uh, Christmas isn't canceled guys. No problem. We're going to have a dinner. Um, I'm just going to continue to roast this again. Uh, I'm going to get all sides in the pan. Okay. And it's kind of a, a medium, medium hot temperature on the oil just to get a nice fry. And what I can do from here is I can pop this right in my oven and I can cook it right in the pan. Okay. This right here, mashed potatoes, a beautiful red skin mash with some garlic in it. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you a secret, you know, no different than, uh, you know, I heard Kyle over there sound like he was tricking his family during the holiday season. Uh, I'm also going to play a little trick of my own. That is a, a beautiful bag mashed potatoes. The way, uh, the way you can do certain food now that is ready to use product is incredible. So I have a ready to use bag mashed potato there uh, and I pay back. I, uh, I took a little bit of uh, Demi and we're gonna use that with the, uh, our pork dish today. Um, and I, I don't know if Kyle has extra. I don't know if he planned ahead on that, but I know we have enough sauce to do our dish. So we'll see. Should I start, to, would you like me to start now or are we going back? To yeah, well, let's go ahead, let's plate it. All right, All right. Let's, do it. let's do it. Okay. We will do, what do we do? We will go with the, uh, we'll do our duck first, okay? I've got the, some duck in the oven that I, I've been uh, keeping warm. I'm gonna drop down some potato here. Let me just drop a nice kind of a pile of potato there. There we go, okay? We're gonna do um, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of squash with this one. And I'm going to kind of set up a base here. I'm going to stack it up, let it, let it fall. Okay. Now our duck. We have our pork loin. Pork loin. Awesome. Lots of things oh, happening so much. here in the busy, kitchen. Busy, busy, busy. But see, as busy as I am here, you probably don't want to be that busy at home doing all kinds of cooking. So I think it's a good idea to... You know, get one of, uh, get it all delivered. Have a beautiful delivered meal. Okay. Let me show you now. So we have a duck breast that I, it's a smoked duck breast that I just roasted off and rendered down a little bit. Okay. You see that? Look at the juices. Look at that. That looks incredible. Okay. Got our, our nice base that holds our duck up for us. And I'm gonna drop a little bit of sauce on this plate and as well as my pork plate, uh, just cause I think Kyle won't like that. Look at that. All right, let's do a little, little greenery and finish it off. What do you think, Alejandro? I don't know. I don't know. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Sorry. There was my issues. So, so I don't know. Oh, wow. Look at this. And Look at this. And you put this together while you're in the couch drinking a beer yes. or actually entertaining your guests, yes. right? So, wow. Look at that. Doesn't it look fantastic? Take, uh, our potatoes out of here. Okay, we'll drop that down. So a nice potato gratin, drop it down on the plate. And we'll do a few Brussels sprouts, again with bacon, a little bit of olive oil. Let's put those guys down there. And if you don't want to use bacon, there's other like, things you can use. You can, you can add some shallots to your... Uh, Brussels sprouts. You can do them with some Dijon. I've done them before actually with maple. I'm a big fan of maple. All right, 
potatoes, Brussels sprouts. Let's cut into this pork. Okay. And look at that. Okay. Right, another good one, I think. Looks like uh, I think Kyle's got his uh, his work cut out for him. Right? I know, I know. He's gonna. Now you were reheating everything in the pan, in the frying pan, but this is just as well to throw it in. Absolutely, you can put it in a in a low sink pan, a baking sheet, anything like that. Put it in the oven, warm it up, done. That's how easy this is. We're gonna go and see what. Chef Kyle is up too on the other side. Chef Kyle, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I am a little bit worried because this is getting very, very, it is very close. Uh-oh. That's not good because I, I said some pretty, pretty bad, pretty bad th things to, uh, for this morning. This morning so uh, so uh, I better come through on this. So the second dish, right? I plated a nice turkey dinner just like you would at home. Same again. There's this a really nice uh, fully cooked roast beef product that actually turns out really, really well. It's got a nice amount of fat left on it. And I would be very happy to get this at home. And this is a really, really quick, easy product for anybody at home to use. And again, I utilize the same vegetables so you don't have to carry a ton of extra uh, stock to produce these dishes for your customers. And then I tucked one of Dave's beautiful potatoes under there. And another great thing about this, this one, actually, if I can just grab some, I did something really quick here. He's going into freezer trouble. Is I just wanted to showcase that same dish. That, that, so that's the raw form of that potato. But if you wrap that in bacon, it comes out as a beautiful, beautiful looking elevated product as well. So you can have like a couple different styles, drop a brick of brie on top of that, melt that down over top of that. You know, anybody can pop these out, put them on a baking sheet at home. It takes about 25 minutes to cook them off. And everybody's looking at a superstar after that point. And these, these are ready. Ready made. Like, so they come like that. You can send them in the meal kit just like that. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. And pop them in the oven. Yeah. And when they slack or thaw out, they don't collapse. They stay, they keep their shape. So you can pop that onto your tray or if it's in a baking tray already, that's like aluminum. You're laughing. Just pop the whole thing into the oven. You're good to go. See the chefs today pulling, pulling every, every single, single trick they got under their sleeves because they want to make sure that they win this battle today. Look at that. So these are the two main courses proposed. Very, very traditional, right? You got a nice turkey breast, and then on the other one, you have a nice roast of beef. So that is very, very classical. Why did you decide to go classical? Are you one of those, you know, very, very traditional, traditional kind of people? absolutely? Gotta have turkey. Any holiday event has to have turkey. And for me, it has to have roast beef. There has to be a roast in there somewhere. And, and I'm a big fan of this. It, 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 the, the flavor is amazing. Um, and honestly, I have better luck with this than roasting one by myself. So, <laughs> And everything else, I mean, it's just stuff that you can get on the table really nice and quick. So, you know, you're still prepping and doing your work in your kitchen at home, but you're gonna get a little bit extra family time. I always feel bad some days where I'm here and everybody have so much fun in the other room and I'm you know I'm just peeling all the vegetables and I'm chopping it down skip that part have this ready for you so you pop it in the oven you know maybe have a quick glass of wine and then go over tell everybody how hard you're working and have some fun with your family you have any kids Kyle I got two I got a I got a 10 in December and I got a little 20 month old guy you put them to work put them to work oh, oh they got to pay rent <laughs> awesome. yeah those little fingers come in handy though let me tell you I see you have some um yeah, and I also have these guys. They're a pre-made Yorkie bowl. So you can pop these guys in the oven, right? Put that off to the side there. Throw a little bit of jus in that as well. The great thing about these, next day, you can put a little bit of Yorkie tacos. tacos. Man, and man, man. I crushed a ton of these. Okay, fantastic. Do you have anything else? Are you whipping the dessert or something else?
sir. Okay, so we'll come back. We'll revise everything else that you've prepared and how uh, the meal kits are going to be going. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. Well, let's say. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have to know. It's going to be a tough one today. Yeah. Well, I, I know Kyle's a great chef and his menu look good. So uh, we're going to have to seal the deal on this side uh, with, with a nice dessert. Uh, so we have New York cheesecake. I think everyone's a, a, a big fan of New York cheesecake. And then I, I did something different as well. I took some peaches and I sauteed them with a little bit of brown sugar. I stewed them down, got a little bit of color on them. Uh, and we're going to do kind of a, a take on a, on a trifle, which is a, a very traditional uh, Christmas dish. And we're going to just do a kind of a cobbler with it. Um, just a little bit of a different take, okay? So let's start. I have some peach yogurt here. And I'm going to drop some peach yogurt into my bowl. Okay. Put down a little bit of crumbled sponge cake as a base. Okay, pop over here. Let's get those peaches. Drop some peaches down in there. And I think we'll finish it off. Those look awesome. We'll finish it off with some of the, the juice from the peaches as well. And what we're doing here, essentially, we're just, we're layering. We're, we're building it up. And, uh, you know, trifle oftentimes is done in a, uh, just a big, clear, clear vessel. You can see the layers. I'm doing kind of a, uh, just a take on it, kind of deconstructed. A little bit of cream there, whipping cream here. And as I add the layers like this, if I, as I add a little more yogurt or a little more uh, whipping cream, it, it kind of helps everything adhere to itself. So what you end up getting is this beautiful, tall, tall looking dessert here. Let's finish it off with some peaches. Let everyone see, you know, star, get that, and See if we can't get a little of that cooking liquid on. Oh, do we? We have guests. We have guests. <laughs> to steal some ideas here. Yeah. Uh, so look at that. Kind of a, a deconstructed take on a trifle. We're not using a standard jelly roll. We're, we're using some some cake. We're breaking down uh, some sponge cake. We're breaking down. We have our yogurt. We have our peaches, uh, and we have our cream. So we have that one. Let's pop that up. Now you probably you probably spend all day all yesterday prepping that sponge cake, peeling the, peaches, peeling the peaches, making sure everything was ready, whipping the cream, making sure that this deconstructed delicious peach yeah. trifle was ready for today, correct? As long as that's how I want it to look, look, that, look that, that way. way. Uh, uh, so I, I, I think my trick works. So this kind of gives it away here. We've got a, a pre-done uh, whipped cream and uh, I've used a, a already a beautiful, already made sponge cake, uh, and I'd be lying if I said I, I peeled any peaches. Um, I took some frozen peaches and stewed them down. But that's the thing. Uh, there's something to be said for speed scratch cooking. I, I think there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's awesome, uh, especially these days right now. Is taking some awesome standalone ingredients and then doing your own twist with it, and, and just taking it and making it your own. Let me show you one more cheesecake. I've taken uh, a little bit of basically cranberry sauce as well as cranberry sauce, cinnamon, and some orange juice. And I've just made a really se seasonal sauce here. So let's get a little bit on top. And I mean, you look at this. This is the type of thing that travels well. You can get this to somebody's home easily. You're going to want to uh, maybe put the sauce on the side or, you know, something like this. It does hold up. You can sauce it and send it. So, see those cranberries in there? I could, uh, you could candy off some orange. That would also kind of speak well to this dish. And uh, let's get some of this whipped cream that we worked so hard on and pop some of that on top. And that, my friends, is ready to go. So you that can. It's awesome, Chef Piper. And you don't need to break the bank. Right, so now is the time to really be conscious about the cost. Make sure that you're utilizing, you know, a product that will be profitable for you and that are easy to put. Labor is limited in the kitchens. You don't want to be doing everything from scratch, but you can definitely 
you tell me if it's not true. You can definitely turn something into a beautiful dish that will travel to home very good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so this is getting off. I'm going to go and check on Chef Kyle. In the meantime, I don't know, you, you're going to come up with the closing argument because it is very, very tight right now. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go and see on... Um, Chef Kyle, this is getting down to the wire. Down to the wire. I don't know. You you you're cheated. You cheated just a little bit by going and sneaking over there. I needed a little bit of an edge on Chef okay. David. Chef Piper, he is a star when it comes to plating and the production of pretty much everything he touches turns to magic in my words. That guy is um I'm, I'm really lucky to have a teammate like him. So my dessert, I went with a uh, ready to go ginger cake comes with caramel sauce on top. But that, you know, you can send out just as is. You basically unwrap it, pop it in a dish. Very, very easy. You just want to make sure that when you do this, you do pop that bottom layer off as well. And this is a microwave dessert, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to pop that in the microwave for about a minute and 20. And you'd have a super hot dessert ready to go. But we're going to elevate it just a little bit. And I do that simply by taking equal parts of sugar and water. And this would be a simple syrup basically, but I cook it down a little bit longer to make it more of a glaze. I'm gonna add some fresh julienne ginger to that. And basically that'll come up to a boil. And then I'm gonna let it simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. It'll get really thick, the color will change and you'll end up with a sauce that basically looks like that. Like that's just a really nice rich syrup. From that, everyone always has, always has cranberry sauce kicking around at the, thanks, at the dinner table on holidays. So I just take a couple tablespoons of that and I added it to the ginger syrup. So now I have a cranberry ginger syrup. So still super easy to make. You take that microwave cake, right? That's what that's going to look like. I don't know if you happen to have maybe some eggnog ice cream just kicking around to drop on top of that. A little bit of that syrup on top. It just adds a really nice color to it. And what I do with my syrup after it's done is I strain the ginger out of it and I basically just toss it in sugar and I make these really nice ginger candy straw, like candy ginger straws. And it really takes nothing to do these. They'll last forever like that. And it's just, it's, it has a really nice sweet, but a little punch to it still from the ginger. And I mean, that's a very, very nice dessert. I would be super excited to have that. I spent all day in the kitchen baking that. That's what I did. That's what I do. <laughs> and I mean, I always keep one freezer in my kitchens usually super cold so that I can pre-scoop ice cream and like rock solid. Usually you're hoping your orders are coming in under 20 minutes, get it back in the freezer and then you scoop it out, top your desserts or, you know, just go out and buy your own ice cream. But there is ways of getting around that if you pack up properly. But I mean, again, you know, three or four of those in a container, unwrapped. You're looking like a superstar in under four minutes. I can't, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm having a really hard time not digging into this right now. It's, uh, <laughs> that's, and you know, after I eat all of this, usually by the time it comes to this, I am barely moving anymore. So having something this easy that I can produce in my kitchen in under five minutes, I'm, I'm gonna go for that 100% all day long. What did uh, what did uh, Chef Piper over there have? He, uh... I don't know. I don't know, Kyle. He pulled a really nice cheesecake with some seasonal flair, and then he make a trifle with some some peaches. So I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely going to be a very very tough decision. I wish everybody was close by to get to see and taste this. So, Chef Kyle, yes. closing argument. Do you want to go ahead? Do you want me to go and get uh, Chef Spiper closing argument? No, no, no. I'll go ahead. Absolutely. Uh, that'll give uh, you know him some time to think about what he wants to say. Um, but yeah, like the home meal kits again, guys. Like it's super important this time of year to start thinking and start prepping now, right? Get ahead of the game. Get your orders in. People fill up really quick with home meal kits. So I know there's already been a couple places I've tried to order and they've stopped taking orders. So I mean, if you can put something together, have these kits built send them out to your customers, they are gonna be ecstatic when they see the results that they're gonna get from your products, right? Um, and all very easy, but all very tasty as well, right? So 
let's take some of the sweat out of the holiday season and make it more about family this year. Fantastic. So I'm just going to go through everything that you put, we put together, together in here. here. Um, Chef Kyle is saying that the meal kits is the way to go. Having that time to spend with your family, finishing and cooking everything at home, having that control and being able to plate something just like this. So very, very happy with what Chef Kyle has put together in here. Um, we're going to go and listen to Chef Spiper, our uh, closing argument. Jay, in the meantime, do we have any questions from any one of our viewers? Uh, Al, we do have one that was actually back a little bit. Uh, just asking what turkey breast did Chef use in one of the dishes. Okay, and fantastic. Kyle. Let me go and um, Chef Kyle, you ready to answer the question? <laughs> Um, I believe that was a, I want to say Sofina. I want to say it was a Sofina chicken okay, or a so turkey it breast. Already like that. So we can share all this information yeah. afterwards. It comes already. Uh, uh, it's it's, it's, it's a, a frozen, but just the breast, deboned, ready to be cooked. You just defrost. Yeah. The idea of sending it in the meal kits is to send it with the instructions on how to cook it. You recommend that searing the skin to make sure it gets nice and crispy. Finishing the oven low and slow so that it doesn't dry out. Any leftover, you can use it the next day. Soup, salad, sandwiches, uh, sandwiches jerky little jerky, right. sliders, you name it. The leftovers are usually the best part of it. Oh, absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Chef Kyle. Let's go to Chef Piper over here. Look at this. Look at this guy. You can, you can say, say you're working. Look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm, when is my invitation coming? That's how yeah, it's, I start with it's, that. In okay. it's in the mail. It's in the mail. Don't worry. Better, better it's in the mail. mail. <laughs> so just a recap. We did the butternut squash soup today. Uh, we have a little bit of creme fraiche there. Those nicely uh, toasted croutons mm -hmm. and some scallions. Our crab cakes with a, a seasonal take. We have a cranberry salsa, a roasted garlic aioli mm -hmm. on those. Uh, a pork loin that we, we seared off, pork tenderloin. We have roasted Brussels sprouts, thick cut bacon, and our dauphinois potato or potato gratin. Right here, nicely seared duck breast rendered down. We have some demi that we stole from Kyle. We have uh, our mashed potatoes as well as some squash, and then finish it all off with our desserts. We have both the, uh, the cheesecake as well as our take on a, a trifle uh, cobbler. And I think what this all speaks to is you know, the difference between taking a meal kit, uh, which is great, I think there's some real wow factor to this. So families can work together and make meal kits, but I think families can also get together, sit down and go, wow. And I think, you know, our industry, our cooks, our chefs, they still want to make these awesome plates and they want to send them, uh, send them with a the driver uh, to people's homes this holiday season uh, and still be able to, to show their flair and, and, and flex a little bit and, and be proud of the food that they're doing. Uh, so this way here, rise at the door. Everyone's already ready at the table. We've got our drinks. We're socializing. We're having a great time. And then we have restaurant quality food plated and, and, and looking the way, the, the way it should. So uh, I think this is the way to go. And I think everyone can, uh, can enjoy it that way. Fantastic. So let me, let's talk really, really quick about the proteins that we use today. Because this is another big thing, right? These are Ontario. So they're local. They're both. You got pork and you got a duck breast from King Cole. So they're they're both local, and and that also is something very important to let let our customers know that we're using local product to do all of these recipes. Correct. So support, uh, you know, support local whether it's uh, you know the, the food itself, the the restaurant. Support local everywhere that you can right now, um, and, and you know the flavors come through. Like the uh, local product is amazing always, um, and I think it really shines here. So there you have it. It's gonna be a tough call. I don't know the the rea Oh, Chef Kyle is already digging into the ice cream. He said it was gonna it was gonna melt. So he had to dig in. He couldn't wait. Okay, so um, we're not gonna be doing any voting or anything. The reality is, if you guys both want to come over here, the reality is that um, 
we we need to step up the game. We need to be able to um, suffice that demand. We as customers, we want simple, we want ready to eat, we want meal kits, but the, the reality is that we live now a time that you need to get creative and get out there, put your name out there. Uh, you don't need to sacrifice any any money by pre-purchasing. You do only pre-sale. You sell so many dinners for the day off or the week off. Uh, reality, there is no Christmas parties bookings happening. So we need to go and, and move in a different direction. And uh, I mean, if, if I get served this at any of your homes, I'd be super happy. So make sure to send the invite. I know yours is coming. Kyle, I'll wait for your invite because and, and we're a family of five, so make sure there's plenty for, for all of us. And uh, so, um, Jay, I think uh, the chefs have done a fantastic job. And uh, I just wanted to, to finalize this show. Uh, well, thanking everybody that joined us today. Uh, before we, we wrap it up, Jay, is there any other questions from the audience um, that you want to share with us? And, and not really, uh, Alejandro, but we do have a lot of comments just on the great ideas that the chefs have prepared today. And just thank you guys for doing it. Uh, outstanding job. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot, Jay. Any, any final words? We still got a couple of minutes. Remind this is going to be recorded and available for everybody after the, the fact. If you didn't make it to join us live, anything else you want to add just to wrap it up and who won? Well, honestly, you know, honestly, who won? <laughs> your I'm scared to pick, I'm scared to pick a side here. Cause I know one day I'll be seeing them in person. Yeah. They'll, um, they'll, they'll. <laughs> I think we're all right. Everybody's going home winner, huh? Okay, I'll, exactly. have taste, I'll have to taste everything and then I'll leave my comment at the end to make sure after I test everything, then I'll be able to to, to make my, my judgment. Anything else to add, guys? No, I, I think we, everybody's going to be a winner holiday season about eating great. So whether it's uh, a meal like this, this or something, or something that's, that's uh, hair, hair, I, I think, think we, we all win. win. Yep, absolutely same here. And I want to wish everybody a safe and happy holidays, and you know we're in this together, guys. Awesome, Jay. Well, if that's it for for today, uh, we're very happy to be in here with you sharing this. And thanks a lot, Chef Piper, Chef Kyle. Fantastic job. Yeah, the 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 friendship shakes before they start beating each other. <laughs> and Jay, Jay for back hopefully, and forth. hopefully you'll host us again in another of these shows. We're very happy to to be part of and, and join. You know what, Al? We will absolutely have you guys back. And thanks again, Alejandro, for hosting today's show. And for everyone else, uh, we have more shows coming up all week. We have another one tomorrow and another one on Thursday. And check it out, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We're here every week. We're going to continue to bring ideas like we did today from Southern Ontario. And for everyone else, have a great rest of your day. Buy local, support our restaurants, get some takeout, eat out if you can in some cases, in some places in Canada still. But we love this industry big time, and chefs, you did an outstanding job today and just can't thank enough. So everyone has to stay safe, Al, to stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Thanks a lot, Jay.